hello and welcome to our stream witchy 101 guys so tonight there is myself my lovely host drew and my co-host misty so we're all going to be here tonight and on witchy 101 we're going to be talking about the types of meditation now for anybody that knows about meditation meditation is very important especially in spirituality and in everyday life so we really do think this is really good to bring into all of our teachings so first i'm just going to put you over to sister and over to both the sisters to say hello and put themselves in then i will let you know a little bit more about what's going on Welcome in everybody. Yeah, you probably know me already. My name is Drew and or Andrina or um Athena, depending on what mood you are in and I'm in. So I do paranormal, I do witchcraft, I do a little bit about everything really. So just keep checking out everybody's channels, guys, and come along for this journey because it really is an important journey for your psyche in life, I would like to say. Oh, I just hit my elbow. Ouch. Over to Ouch. That wasn't her funny bone, I don't think. <laughs> it is not bloody funny. <laughs> All righty, am I next? Are you finished, Drew? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. And I see that, um, let's see here. I see that the Paranormal Hub World Wide is in, so that's great. I did share it on, on that group, so that's great. Thank you for coming in, everybody. So I am mystical love and light. I am a holy spiritual being, which means that I also do paranormal uh, investigations. I do workings. I do oils. I do powders. Uh, I have a whole different list of uh, playlists on my channel. It covers so many different things. So <laughs> look at it, Drew, while I'm saying that. So check us all out on all of our channels because we all have a variety of things. And again, welcome in, everybody. Thank you, my lovely Turn sisters. Well. And obviously, I'm Sherry, also known as Willow. I am an investigator. I am a witch. I am a practicing shaman. I like to work with anything spiritual and that gets people's interests. And I'm looking forward to all of these teachings with my sisters and with you guys. And I hope that you do take a lot from this, from us teaching you this. And we're very happy to see you all in it. And it's lovely to be here this evening. And a merry meet to you all. And a happy win a solace blessing, most definitely. Yes. It's a special weekend, guys. So celebrate it. it. And celebrate the darkness and just relax and enjoy the season. We've got quite a few I'm people in the room, sis. There is. There is ten, well, there was 11 people a minute ago. It's down to 10 at the minute, but that's really, really good. I'm, um, I'm, to very, the group. I'm very sorry to um, hear that you wasn't very well, Paranormal Hub. I hope you are feeling better. I will be doing a little short prayer at the end because I was asked if I could do a prayer for Pups today because he's not doing very well again. So I'll be doing a prayer room. I have got a candle and yeah. stuff there for him as well. And for everybody else that's not feeling too great. Yeah, Hello, really, sis. How are you? 12 people. Hello, everyone. So welcome in, Kerry. Welcome in, Luna. Hello, Kerry, darling. Hello, Ian. Hello, everyone. I will talk to you in a minute, right. but I'm just going to explain to you what I'm doing then. So obviously you guys know that I do meditation. I've got a number of meditation programs on my channel. So I thought... it we all thought but i thought it'd be good as well to bring in the meditation form into our spirituality because a lot of our workings is going to be us needing to meditate think about things and it'll learn you to put that intrusion in as well and that's going to be the factor of our homework for you later on this evening i hope that you do have your pens and papers with you guys so that you can write everything down and take information so there's going to be nine factors of meditation that I speak about to you in a video that I'm going to be showing you. Now, one of the factors is done by professionals. You can perform it if you know, but I personally, even though like I do it for myself, I don't teach it to other people because of the extent of it. 
but there is nine of them. Um, and I'm going to read these out to you and you guys can, you know, study, research, look into it, whatever you want to do. But the main thing we want to do is get you meditating and get you getting connected because that's what's really important for the beginning of your uh, your journey, especially coming into mm. any sort of craft, whether it's witchcraft, yeah. it's spirituality, whether you're Christian, whatever, meditation and prayer and all that sort of thing is always a very important thing. So Definitely. we will be doing that as well, 10 minutes of that at the end. But it's going to be a conversation first on a video where I, it's yeah. about 50-something minutes long. I would advise you not to sit back and watch this and then we'll talk, guys, okay? Yeah. You don't see me on the video. You just hear my voice lovely coming over the air. But I have got some very um, educational meditation quotes that's going to be going up as I'm speaking, so that you can kind of get a gist of what meditation's about, guys. If Welcome in, Nigel on Facebook. Hello, Nigel. How are you? Hello, Mr. J. How are you? Hi. So, yeah, um, we're going to start off with that then. So we're going to start off with the videos first, and then if the sisters have got anything that they think that they should add um, that might go well with meditation, because it's not just meditation itself. There's other mm. tools and things you can bring into it as well. So... They will talk at the Look end. Look at well. Iron. Right, so I'm not going to leave you hanging any longer. I'm going oh, to put yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the video up here. We're going to be at the side. We're not going to be cutting off the video thing because it's literally just talking, so there's no point in us taking our faces off. We can have the cameras off, but we are here. Okay, so... I hope that you like the video. Take all of the information you get down, please, guys, and make sure that you get that all in there because it's really important that you understand this. And lots of love and light, and let's start. Hello everybody, this is Sherry from PWI, Spiritual Investigators and Paranormal World Investigators. So this video is something that I'm doing to reach out to people in the community to help them to understand a little bit more about meditation and the different types of meditation that there is. So I hope that you do find this information interesting and hopefully helpful because if there is one thing with meditation that you have to bear in mind is that everybody does it at different levels and everybody does it a different way and there are quite a few different types of meditation and everybody connects to different types okay but there are nine main meditation types that i'm going to talk to you guys about today so i hope that you enjoy the stream don't forget to like and to support and to subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video and lots of love and light to you all so first obviously for people that don't really know what meditation is and not really understanding what it is it's a form of art that is formed to help you in yourself so in your mind body and your spirit 
it helps you with everyday life with physical parts of your life it helps you with spiritual parts of your life it can help you with things such as your health your way of mind your way of balancing things in life it can help you to become grounded connected leveled it can help you to see clearer there's so many different types and ways to what meditation is so i'm going to give you a little bit of information about this meditation is a technique that has been used for thousands of years to develop the awareness of the present moments in our lives okay so this can be anything from health to illness is to everyday life matters anything it's all included in this it can involve practices to sharpen focus attention connect to the body and breathe develop acceptance of different emotions and even alter consciousness it's been shown to offer a number of physical and physiological benefits like stress reduced and improved immunity. Well, many spiritual traditions include meditation as part of their techniques and practice. The techniques itself doesn't belong to any particular religion or faith. Though ancient in origin, it still practices today in cultures all over the world to, cre to create a sense of peace, calm and inner harmony, to be in connection with yourself, to be in connection with your inner soul and to be comfortable with who you are, getting to know your inner self, your spiritual self, because once you get to know that, you can do and see many amazing things. Meditation may offer a solution to the growing need to reduce stress in the mindest of busy schedules and demanding lives. Although there isn't a right or wrong way to meditate, it is important to find a practice that meets your needs because everybody's needs are different and everybody practices and learns at different levels. So there are many different types of meditation that you can go into that is very particular and very good for certain situations you may find yourself in. So carrying on. There are nine particular types of meditation practices. There's mindfulness meditation, focused meditation, movement meditation, mantra meditation, transcendental meditation, progressive relaxation meditation, loving kindness meditation, and visualization meditation. That word is a little bit hard to say. But not all of the meditation styles are right for everyone. And that's what you've got to remember. There may be some people that are quite open to meditation, have done it quite regularly and for quite a number of years. So maybe they would need to go on to some of the more in detailed meditations like the transcendental meditation, the progressive relaxation meditation, even the visual, visualization meditation. And obviously for those that are a little bit more new, there might be the mindful, spiritual and focused meditation would be a really good one as well. It's really important that when you meditate that you find a practice that you can relate to, that you can connect to. Because if you're not connecting to the music, you're not connecting to that particular class or lesson or video that you're watching, then it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing for you. OK, so it's really important to to understand the different types and know that there is things out there that can help. 
it's always about what's comfortable for you guys and what you feel encourages you into your practices okay and that's what's really important because meditation and all of that sort of practice is all about you being comfortable in your own skin being comfortable in who you are and being able to move forward and to be able to be comfortable with your inner spiritual self your inner being and with all of the amazing activities and ways that it brings into your life so it's very important to always be mindful and understanding of that part of your self because it's very much there so obviously i'd name to you nine of the most popular meditation techniques that are used for beginners and for people that have been doing it for a number of years as well okay so the first one that i'd said to you was for, was mindfulness meditation now mindfulness med meditation or originates from the buddhist techniques and it is most popular and researched from research from and formed of meditation in the west in mindfulness meditation you pay attention to the thoughts as they pass through your mind and you focus on those thoughts as they move through your mind and you're not to judge those thoughts you're not to look at them negatively at any point and to not even become involved with them just notice that they're there and notice what they're doing and continue to go through that stage of your meditation all you simply do is observe it and take note of the patterns okay this practice combines concentration with awareness you may find it helpful to focus on an object or your breath while you observe any bodily sensations thoughts or feelings okay so it's very important that you do take notice of your bodily sensations like your thoughts your feelings your smells these sort of things it's very important to do that and if you're somebody that needs to learn to go into this sort of practice then like it says find an object that you would find pleasing to look at and focus on that that will help you to learn your mind to to work in that way this type of meditation is good for people who don't have a teacher to guide them as it can be easily practiced alone so this technique is very easy to use at home as well obviously you can practice it it's quite simple it's just doing your breathing in and out techniques and you focusing on the sensations the feelings the smells the thoughts that you're getting observing and maybe practicing on an object so that you know what you're doing and remember that anything that you start at the beginning that you pay attention of do not judge it do not put your thoughts into it and do not be involved in it just simply observe what is going on that is what mindfulness meditation is it's about being in a more connected way with yourself and with your emotions and how you feel it's a way of being able to tell many things and it's very good for people that are very spiritual then obviously number two was spiritual meditation now spiritual meditation is one of the meditations that is very popular all over the world and it is something that is practiced very regularly by many many people and especially people that are spiritually intact or gifted or anything like that they intend to use this form of meditation because it is a very powerful and very active and very open meditation that's very very simple to do spiritual meditation is used in nearly all religions and spiritual traditions and it is spiritual meditation is about being in all with your soul and your body in all with your abilities in all with your faiths and things that you love it's about reflecting on them and observing them and embracing them these types of spiritual meditations are 
as diverse as the world spirit the world spirit traditions themselves many of the meditation techniques listed could be considered spiritual meditation according to some of the studies in 2017 it said that spiritual meditation focused on developing a deeper understanding of spiritual and religious meanings and connecting with a higher power examples including like your christians um your remembrance of God's um, Judaism, um, even just it, our techniques that we do in our traditions, like as witches or druids or shamans and stuff, it's about being in communication and being con in connection with your higher powers, the ones that you worship, you love. And it's about being in communication and in understanding of your spiritual self as well, because your spiritual self is what connects to them so spiritual meditation is a very good one and it's most definitely very good to use if you are trying to open to the higher powers if you are trying to open to such things as your guides and those sort of energies animal guides anything like that then spiritual meditation is a really good thing because not only does it but it connects you to other places that you can go and be part Part of those energies that you work with so this sort of spiritual meditation is very good for those sort of things spiritual meditation can be practiced at home or in a place of worship this practice is beneficial for those who seek spiritual growth and a deeper connection to the higher power or the spiritual force meaning the universe and so on uh, um, nature and yourselves obviously the third one which is another one that is quite popular is the focused meditation okay now focused meditation involves concentration and using any of the five senses okay so for example you can focus on something internal like your breath or you can bring in external influences to help you focus your attention. Some of these examples are counting multi beads, listening to a gong, starting at a candle flame, counting your breaths or moon gazing. Okay, all of these sort of techniques could be very good at helping you to become in communication and concentration with your senses. And doing this type of meditation okay this practice may be simple in theory but it can be difficult for beginners to hold their focus for long longer than a few minutes at a time okay so if you if your mind does wander just simply come back to the practice and refocus you can stop and start if you're finding yourself you're swaying away and you're not really taking much notice in what you're doing just come away from it for a couple of minutes to give yourself a couple of minutes out maybe get yourself a drink or something then just come back in and do it meditation takes time to you know get used to and to be able to connect with okay and it all really d depends on the sorts of meditation that you're actually relating with as well because as I said, there are many types of meditation. So if it goes wandering off and you're not finding yourself in that comfortable position, like I said, just walk away for a little bit, just do your own thing and then come back to it and you're feeling a little bit more calmer. And as the name it suggests, this practice is a deal for anyone who wants to sharpen their focus and their attentions so if you're somebody that's needing to understand a situation that you're in or you're somebody that's being faced with something you're not quite sure on how to take on then this sort of meditation would be very good for that because it helps you to be focused and it helps you to balance your attention and to be able to see a clearer picture okay so this is really good for people that maybe have got stressful things going on and need some sort of resolution to how something can be sorted out and everything can be put back right so this sort of meditation would do that most definitely 
So moving on to number four meditation, which is movement meditation. Okay, now this is one that some people practice, but maybe a lot of people have not really heard of this meditation. This is more of the less unknown meditation, in my opinion, but still very good. Although most people think that yoga, when they hear of like movement meditation, it can also in take walking and gardening, doing your gong, playing music, other forms of gentle movements, okay? Movement meditation is about walking and having some form of movement, whether that's walking or it's playing a drum or it's playing a guitar or it's gardening or doing any of that. When you're doing this sort of practice and you start to walk or you start to do your meditation through your yoga and things like that this is when you would start using the movement meditation this is an active form of meditation where the movement guides you into a deeper connection with your body and the present moments okay so this movement meditation even though it is about being physical and it is about being active, it is something that very much connects you to your inner self and to understanding your body personally, okay? Movement meditation is good for people who find peace in action and want to develop body awareness. It's very good for people that are maybe conscious of their body because it will help them to get back into shape and it help them to feel better in their self. So when you're just like doing your simple things like you're walking your garden or you've gone yoga or you're, you're playing an instrument or you're doing something, just meditating on the things that you're wanting to be better in your life and meditating on something that you're needing an answer or a question to, just doing that. This sort of development will most definitely reach out to the universe and will most definitely help you to get those other sorts of things that you're needing clearance on but it's also going to be physically and emotionally helping your body as well okay so this meditation is a very good form and is good for physical and spiritual so then number five is mantra meditation now mantra meditation is prominent in many teachings including hindu and buddhist traditions this type of meditation uses a perspective sound to clear the mind. It can be a word, a phrase or a sound. One of the most common being um. OK, so that's why um, in a lot of the meditation work that we do, we use a lot of the native music or we use a lot of the music like Celtic and this sort of stuff, because it's got a lot of very voiceful music in it and it's got rhythm and it's got vibrations that connect to you personally and in your inner self okay so mantra meditation is about sound it's about clearing the mind <clears throat> Mantra can be spoke out loudly. It can be spoke quietly. It's completely your choice. After chanting the mantra for some time, you'll be more alert and in tune with your environment. This allows you to experience deeper levels of awareness. Now, deeper levels of awareness in your life now, mantra is one that very much is used um, commonly in um, opening or for people that are open in spirituality because it helps them to be able to deepen their consciousness, to deepen their experiences and their, their awareness of things around them, whether that's a smell, a sound or whatever it is. It, this sort of meditation is very good for opening your senses. 
Some people enjoy mantra and meditation because they find it easier to focus on a word than on their breath. Others enjoy feeling the vibration of the sound in their body. This is also a good practice for people who don't like silence and enjoy reputation. So this is a very noise sound in meditation it's all about vibration it's all about sound it's all about your body being completely cleansed and being completely connected to who it truly is and who you truly are okay and it, it can reach many different levels so this awareness and all of these deep levels of connection that you're learning to do will then suddenly be some you may be doing your spirituality to communicate with other spirits and other life forms and things like that so the mantra meditation is a very powerful meditation and is one that very much works on your mind and works on your connections to reality and life through sound so vibrations and stuff like that and that's why a lot of nature type of music is made for this sort of form and is very easy for this sort of meditation to be able to be related to. Meditation number six is trans transcendental meditation, which is TM, is a type of meditation that has been the subject of numerous studies in the scientific community okay now this meditation is it's not really like the other meditations tm was found by the mississippi mahesh forward this practice is for those who want a acceptable approach to the depth that meditation offers so they're wanting it to be deep as well they're wanting to be able to completely cleanse and open yourself and this sort of meditation With the weather, guys, we are in a storm here in Britain, so just be patient when the, when Sherry does come back up. It will play. It's just because we are in the middle of a storm here. Uh, but yeah, the, it's an interesting video. So just, I'd advise you to take notes on the meditations that you feel you would be interested in, even wait until after the stream and take notes um, and try them. Definitely try them. And once Sherry comes back and we start playing the video, we will start taking questions. I don't I don't really want to start addressing questions until Sherry gets here. She is more of an expert in this type of thing than I am. But, Mystical, you wanted to add something. Do you want to add that just now while Sherry's, before she comes back up? Sure. Yeah, 
sure. Okay, so while we're waiting for Sherry to come back with the storms and all that they're having, I wanted to say that so to, meditation also too is just not like sitting in your house meditating, okay? It can be if you're driving someplace and you have a good distance to go and you're driving and then all of a sudden you switch and you're like, how did I get here so fast? Well, what you did was you meditated during that short time. Sherry, we were just talking while you came back. So uh, yeah. so I just wanted to throw that in. That is a form of meditation also. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. So we'll let Sherry take back over. Remember, keep your questions to the last, guys, and we will address them. I'll put my shut up button back on. Meditation, which is TM, is a type of meditation that has been the subject of numerous studies in the scientific community. Okay. Now, this meditation is. It's not really like the other meditations. Tia Hesh, yoga, and refuse to refers to a specific practice designed to quiet the mind and to induce a state of involves the use of taught by a Tia meditation. This is a very serious meditation, and this. This is normally one that may be medical practitioners that work with people with mental health and things may use. Um, it is designed to help you to be able to balance your mind. It's designed to help you to be able to I think Sherry's getting the storms worse than me, guys, so just be patient. I am not mod, so I can't sneak off for a quick beer. <laughs> Welcome in, Brother Louie. Nice to see you here. It's always better with Brother Louie in the chat. Brother Louie, Louie, Louie. Oh, he's all looking to me. <laughs> Welcome in. Yeah, so that's uh, Michael for Paranormal Hub. You can put them in capital letters if you want. Put your caps on and put them your questions in chat. Because once it's finished, I will go back over the chat and I will address the questions as they come. So if you want to stick them in chat, just put them in caps. Welcome yeah, in, and everybody. Welcome in. And back to what Mystical was saying about you can meditate in the car. Was there anything else you wanted to add to that? Uh, no, I just wanted to say that because some people, they're like, I cannot believe that I'm already here. I didn't even remember when I went past that last section. But that's part of meditating. Your mind was on keeping everything going as, as you were meditating, even though like you were driving. That's good. Hey, oh, back, it just shows you. Welcome back, Sis. Thank you. It's the signal and that. It's so windy and that. It's, it's, it's like really a storm, man. I think you're getting it worse than us today down north, down south, aren't you? Yeah, at the yeah, minute. Yeah, you're getting it really bad. We'll try again. It just keeps... It looks like it's doing it, and then it just stop, stops. I don't know. It's okay. The guys are very like, patient with us, aren't you guys? You know the troubles. Areas in their life and um, accepting it and being able to move forward. Been deep as well, they're wanting to be able to completely cleanse and open herself. And sort of meditation is practiced by some medical professionals. So that one, even though it's a very good one, if you don't very much understand it, I wouldn't go too far into it. Then you've got number seven, which is your progressive relaxation. Okay, now progressive relaxation meditation is also known as body scan meditation progressive relaxation is a practice aimed at reducing tension in the body and prompting relaxation so if we've had really stressful days or we've got things going on in our life that's really difficult to deal with and we're finding that our bodies are being run down and we're drained and we're not feeling ourselves this sort of meditation 
would be very good because it's a very an aggressive meditation but not aggressive in the way that is dangerous but aggressive that in the way that is effective if you do it properly okay so often in these times and in these forms of meditation it involves slowly tightening and relaxing one's muscles group at a time through the body so what you do with this is you would meditate on each part of your body and you would focus on tightening that area of your body and then relaxing the muscle of that group at the time of and throughout the body because then it helps to relieve that tension it helps to re relieve that stress those problems that you're having okay so if you're somebody that's a very busy person you've got a very busy job you're very, always on the go then this sort of meditation would be very good for you because you're probably going to have a lot of time where you feel a lot of tension in your muscle and in your body and you're just not feeling yourself so this will help you to release that by tightening and relaxing your muscles and stuff in some cases it might also encourage you to imagine a gentle wave flowing through your body to help release any tensions so even just sitting there and even if you can't tense your body or you can't make parts of your body tense and then release some of you may have medical issues meaning you can't do that then just simply focusing on a wave of water a cleansing and a movement that is going through your body and it's removing all of that tension all of those troubles all of those things that you're expressing and you're experiencing okay and it's removing that out water is an energy of healing and it's also an energy of movement okay and change so if you can't do the tensing techniques and the releasing techniques try the water technique visualizing and focusing and seeing a gentle wave of water flowing through your body okay and it's helping you to release that tension and this form of meditation is often used to relieve any stress or to unwind before you go to bed or if you've had a bit of a stressful day or the kids have been playing up or something like that this sort of meditation is really really good for that and that is progressive relaxation meditation sometimes we all need a bit of that you've got number eight which is loving kindness meditation i know a really strange thing and maybe you're thinking what is loving kind meditation well it's just that it's used to strengthen feelings of compassion kindness and acceptance towards oneself and others this meditation is a form that helps you to be able to open to yourself, to accept yourself, to love yourself, but it also helps you to be those ways with others as well. Now, sometimes in life, we can get a bit stressed out with ourselves and with other people. So this meditation is a really good form of meditation to help you to decrease those situations, okay? It typically involves opening the mind to receive love from others and then sending well wishes to the loved ones, friends, acquaintances. So it's a form of meditation where you would, you would sit there and you would relax, you can have your music on, you can have your incense, you just typically be thinking about all of the things that have been frustrating you or all the things that may have frustrated you about somebody else and removing that out of your mind and putting and replacing it with love and goodness towards them and then sending it back to you, okay? It's bringing positive to each other. So, Nine times out of ten, our matters and problems that we run into are really not big deals, even though they feel like it at the time. So the loving kindness meditation is a really good way. It's a really good way of getting involved with your loving side, your kindness side, understanding side, okay? Understanding of yourself, kindness of yourself, love of yourself, but also those things to others as well. And it can be something that you can practice with others as well. And you could do as a family or you could do as a group of friends, you know. You could even do this in things like when you're at work and stuff. Sometimes work can get a bit 
hectic and maybe a couple of your workmates have come round after and you're all a little bit upset and whatever, you could do the love, loving and kindness meditation just to relieve and to remove all of those tensions. This type of meditation Because this type of meditation is promoted to promote c compassion and kindness, it may be ideal for those holding holding feelings of anger or resentment. Okay, so horrible emotions that we don't want to be feeling for ourselves or for other people. This meditation will help you to relieve that. Like I said, if you've got issues at work or you've had issues at school, or you've got something going on in your life, or you've had an argument with a friend, anything like this, just putting that loving intention and that kindness intention in that to you and to them, or doing it with them, it will benefit you. So that is your loving and kindness meditation. So number nine is visualization meditation. Visualization meditation is a technique focused on enhancing feelings of relaxation, peace, and calmness by visualizing positive scenes, images, and figures. Now, this can be positive figures such as somebody that maybe you look up to in the world or in your family. This could be a figure that you look up to spiritually or through belief okay this can be images this can be images of real life things that you see every day this can be a visualization of something very beautiful that you you bring only in your mind and you bring to life in your mind okay or scenes where there's things that you wouldn't normally see here but you would like to imagine it being here. So you would visualize, those, see those images, or you would observe the figures or the authorities that you look up to and you believe in. That's what visualization meditation is. It's about giving you that sense of understanding, that power and being in communication and connection with yourself, okay? This practice involves imagining a scene vividly and using all five senses to add as much detail as possible so using your your five senses so you're hearing you're tasting you're smelling and so on okay so all of your spiritual five senses that we are known of is what is used in this meditation as well and it's used to help to be able to be more focused on those senses and to be able to add as much detail to those as possible and being able to bring out images and understanding of things that may be happening okay so visualization meditation is normally another form of meditation that is very much practiced by a lot of spiritual people that maybe see spirit and communicate channel these sort of things we would use a lot of visualization meditation as well which is where you just go into yourself and you relax but you visualize what you're seeing around you you visualize the images being given to you this is what this sort of meditation is and this is something that is very good to practice because the more that you practice, the more that you open. This will help you to be able to pick up messages and visions and insights into the other realms when you are spiritually open that way. So it's a very good meditation. Obviously, again, it's meditation, so it's good for your body. So as I said, you know, it will it gives you vivid, vivid, and it helps you to use your five senses to the detail that they need to. It can also involve holding a beloved or honored figure in mind with the intentions of embodying their qualities. So having someone that you see as a figure, somebody that you believe in, somebody you want to be like or you are proud to work for, okay? It's very important to visualize how you feel about that person, how that person empowers you and makes you feel stronger 
and makes you feel deeply connected to who you are and to them okay and through doing that and having that belief and having those things to visualize on that helps you to open your consciousness that helps you to be open to those other senses and ways okay this is also a very good way that um some people will use through communication with their spiritual guides and and, and things as well another form of this meditation is actually visualizing a meditation and imagining yourself succeeding at specific goals which is intended to increase focus and motivation so it's very good for focus and motivation as well if you're somebody that needs a bit of an inspiration needs to be a little bit more focused this meditation would be very good at that because it helps you to stabilize your mind it helps you to stop and to look and to take notes of the things that are going on around you which nine times out of ten when you do that you start to see the bigger picture, you start to see a solution, okay? So this sort of meditation is really good for that. Many people use visualisation meditation to boost their mood, reduce stress levels, and to promote inner peace. They want to be at peace. They want to be able to reduce their stress levels. And, you know, they they don't want to have bad moods. Uh, and they want to be able to be in understanding of their emotions and their feelings. They're wanting to be able to be in deep connection with that figure that they look up to. They want to be like that figure or work like that figure wants them to, you know. And this meditation, as I said as well, does also help you and open you up to being able to use your senses, okay, and to help you to be able to connect even spiritually and being able to do such things as having uh, vis vis visions or premonitions um, or going off to places telepathically, uh, these sort of things, and seeing images and pictures coming out at you or scenes of something that might have happened that could be to do with spirits or to be doing with another sort of plane or place. So this is a very good form of meditation to really, really open your consciousness as well. So a lot of the next thing that a lot of people find really hard in meditation is actually being able to get their self to actually relax acts enough to be able to go in there now a lot of people have a really big struggle with that and they think that they're not doing it right now there are many many forms of meditation guys even though i've read these ones out to you but when you're actually physically practicing it and doing it not everybody goes into a very deep consciousness and isn't with it you know some people can do that like myself mm -hmm. there's others that do it when they're awake and they've got their eyes open you've got people that do it through daydreaming You've got people that can just focus on objects and their mind goes somewhere else and they see things. These are all forms of meditation, even sleeping is. That's why there's a lot of communication and connection when you sleep. So the most important thing to remember when you're doing meditation is to remember that there's never a right or wrong way to meditate, okay? Meditation is something that you do and makes you feel great. OK, now you may know, may sit there and you see that I go deep and you think, oh, my God, like she goes really deep and she can do this, do that. I'm very spiritually open and I can do a lot of things. OK, so I'm able to do that. That doesn't mean that you need to do what I do. You're still going to be just as connected being just you. OK, so. Just be you when you meditate, have the belief in you and know that you're doing it right. That's really important when you're meditating. If you're going to sit there and question yourself every time or question if you're actually doing it, it's not going to work, okay? Meditation is about going with the flow off and being comfortable and just letting go, okay? And that is what you have to do when you meditate as you're not going to do it correctly or right. So whether you sit there and you daydream or you lay down 
and you're not actually feeling like you're meditating, but you're laying there and you're calm and you're feeling a, a presence of peace and calmness and you're feeling good and you're starting to smell really nice smells and things like that, you're meditating. Even if you're wide awake and you're conscious and you know what you're doing, you're still meditating, okay? Meditation is something that is made for the body so that you can be calm in your body, mind and soul, okay? Now, meditation is not about you going so deep into your inner self, okay? Meditation is about being comfortable with yourself, being able to look after yourself physically, okay? Meditation is a very strong and powerful form that everybody, I believe, should use to heal, to balance their body and their selves and their minds, okay? I believe that very, very strongly. But sadly, there's a lot of people out there that don't follow this, okay? But for those that do, just know that you don't have to go very deep in to be meditating, okay? It's about being in communication and being comfortable in yourself okay and the more that you practice the more that you learn the better you become okay the easiest way to actually begin is by focusing on your breath this is like an old zen style suggestion okay you should sit in some sort of meditation style there are many things online that you can look up on different meditation poses that you can do. The, ma the main one that is normally used is the one where you sit with your legs crossed and you have your hands just gently resting on the top of your kneecaps and you've got your legs crossed and you've got your palms facing towards the ceiling and you've either got your hands hanging down or you're making the little slight circle with your thumb and the finger that's nearest to your thumb and making a circle and just sitting there and relaxing and going into your mind and you just sit there for 20 minutes every day if you can do that because I do get that some of you are very, very busy even just five or ten minutes you may find that some days you can only do five or ten minutes some days you could do 20 some days you can do an hour it doesn't matter but just try to get some sort of meditation in each day it's really good for you guys and it's really good for your body and as I've said do the the zen technique the best stance is crossing your legs and putting your hands to your knees and having your palms facing up you can either have them just relaxed or you can have it where your thumb and the finger that's nearest to your thumb making a circle and you just sit there with your eyes closed and you just meditate okay you sit quietly you focus on your breath breathing in and out and you think about all of the things that have been stressing you out and you, you you sense and you see them removing from your body, okay? Sense them removing from your body and sense all of the positivity coming back into it. It's very important to do that. It's very important to keep your body, your mind and your soul balanced and cleansed at all times. It's good for your health. It's good for your body. It's good for your senses. It's good for everything. For some people, and especially when you're just starting out, the best thing to start out with doing it is actually doing it just for five or ten minutes. And as you do it more, then become a little bit longer. You don't want to do too much too quickly, okay? Now, for a lot of the people that come into my streams and are around me at that time, and they see all of the meditation I do. A lot of these guys already do meditation, but for all of you guys that are maybe watching this video and are new and you've not done this before, five or 10 minutes a day is perfectly fine. Doing just this basic technique first, just sitting with your legs crossed with your hands, resting on your knees gently and just focusing on your breathing, focusing on all the things that have been stressing and upsetting you and focus on that and see a light of gold or silver or white removing all of that negativity out of your body and seeing all of that light coming back into you, okay? And you will find that the more that you do it, the more you'll become 
prone to it and you'll become understanding of it you'll easily go into it okay and obviously the longer and the more that you do it the longer that you can sit there and do your meditation obviously for a beginner as i said five to ten minutes for somebody that's been doing it for a while or has been to certain classes and understands it 20 minutes to 40 minutes is fine just remember that in each meditation state do not over breathe yourself okay obviously we have to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth and we have to do certain amounts of holds of breath do not hold your breath too much or breathe in too much and breathe out too much that it makes you feel unwell please make sure that when you're trying to do this sort of work that you find a balance and you find a technique that's comfortable for you okay meditation should be comfortable and should be exciting to do not something that you struggle to do or something that makes you feel unwell or unpleasant so just learn the te technique for most people unless you've got a breathing problem or an illness that involves with breathing from three breaths up to five will be perfectly fine but again everybody has their balance and test all of that out before you start doing this seriously because the last thing you want to be doing is doing meditation and doing things that are not helping you okay so practice find your comfort zone and then go from there guys because meditation is a phenomenal way to heal to cleanse to balance and to do many things for yourself for your body and for your spirit okay and i hope that this information has helped you to understand a little bit more about meditation and just remember enjoy it and until next time lots of love light and blessings look out for my new meditation videos and episodes that are coming out that can help you guys to stay focused stay calm and to be able to face life every watching this show i hope that you have enjoyed the information that i have given you on on the meditation Hope that to help to have a bit more an understanding about it all too. And until then, lots of love, light, and blessings, guys. Thank you for for watching. Remember to sub and to support my channel, PWI Spiritual Investigators, Paranormal World Investigators, and I will you love the angel. Lots of love and light. Lots of good information on that, Sister Sherry. Thank you very much for that. A lot of time was spent on Sister Sherry's videos on our channel, guys. So please check out our channel for a lot more on meditation and how you can actually do it so she'll be back up in a minute guys so there was a lot of information there about all the different types of meditation that there is there probably is a few other ones that other people do that we're maybe not aware of but daydreaming is what i do guys i tend to go off in little daydreams and when i daydream i try and use that as a focus on manifesting so if there's anything I want to try and bring into my life, I try and focus on what I want so that when I do start to go into a daydream, I can actually picture myself like driving, I can picture myself down in 
seeing sisters sharing things. And I do put myself there in my meditation. So that helps you to manifest it. If you can manifest something in this realm, then as above, so below. If you manifest in the realm above first and then this realm, it's got to come true because you've manifested it into this world. So what do you think of that, Sister Sherry? Was that one of your first videos you did on med meditation? That was like my first video that I'd actually spoke about it because it's more that i've showed yeah. you guys so yeah it was and uh like obviously like in the video i told you like the main main factors of what those meditations connect with but like with visualization um meditation that is also like obviously when we're doing our witchcraft and that we're having, having to visualize what we're wanting to happen mm -hmm. and we have to manifest yeah. that and bring that into our workings that's very much used in the visualization and um, meditation as well it is all about being connected and open all of them meditation states are really good ones to follow but i would suggest the last few that i read out to you are for more the advanced meditators the ones that are already quite deep into it and understand it and get it and the three top ones are more for the newer people because when you're first starting out and you're trying to open and you're trying to become spiritual and you're mm -hmm. trying to connect it is all about connecting understanding yourself understanding what you feel around you you know what i mean so those three yeah are really good for you know those factors and focusing your mind and and all sorts and as i go on i will and do more and more videos at the minute i've just been trying to get you guys comfortable on my channel with meditating there's no point in me bringing any of the heavy stuff onto you yet until you're actually comfortable doing it you know what i mean you ain't gonna know what's going mm. on because if i went into a more depth one with you then all sorts of things could start and then you could start seeing all things well, we'll make definitely do one at the beginning of the screams mm -hmm. i think that'd be good yeah. useful I and i'm going say, to be sherry oh sorry i wanted to say that you broke it all down very very good very simple easy to yeah. follow that made a whole lot of sense so you've done an excellent job I, on that i know how difficult it is because i've watched practitioners and other people and i've seen how they explain it and it can sound very complicated and some people would be like ah, what the hell are they talking about so it's really good it's a bit like putting mm. it to your idiot sort of context even though you're not idiots it's it's just easier to have a basic information it's, there. yeah it's like putting in layman's up. terms isn't it yeah. yeah i think the one i must use is the most then is the visual visualization one also the one where i focus on trying i've never ever achieved it yet but i'm trying to do it in meditation where i can actually physically meet my ancestors so i think each time i do it i'm starting to get a little bit closer I'm trying to remember the feelings that I had when I used to visit like my grandmother's house and things so that I can bring that into my meditation. If I can remember how I felt in that house, then I think it would be a lot easier to manifest it into my meditation. Do you think that would work? It would. And like I said, it's, it, 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 it's all about practice and time, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not just going to be something you're just going to sit down, put the music on, and you're just going to automatically do it. You've really got to channel your body and your mind to be able to do that. What you've got to remember, a lot of us over the years, we've been stopped from doing things like this. We've not been able to do this sort of stuff. It's only been in the last century that it's starting to come out online and people are doing it. So Yeah, because you get told to stop daydreaming. Training. Stop daydreaming. We're, we're training. <laughs> I guess we're training our minds to open to our true mm -hmm. selves because we've been held back from that for so long you know what i mean so for some of you you might sit there and get really frustrated and think oh my god it's not working it is working even if you just get that sense of calmness and you're feeling comfortable and you're feeling at all with yourself it's working okay let it take its toll with you I don't rush it. it let it do it at its own pace it it's all about gradually opening okay yeah, and it will do it a lot of people don't understand yeah. a lot of people that i've heard say i can't me i can't meditate because every time i try to calm myself and not think of anything everything starts coming in 
Okay, for me, the key thing is if you're trying to meditate and a thought comes to your head, oh, I need to sweep the kitchen, oh, I need to wash the dishes, and you're trying to get that out of your head, and it just keeps staying there, and you're like, I can't meditate. Okay, if it comes to your mind, just address it real quick, and then move on. So if it comes to your mind, oh, I need to yeah. sweep the kitchen, make a mental note, okay, I need to sweep the kitchen. Or if it comes to your mind, you got to get the dishes washed. Just make a mental note, okay, I need to get the dishes washed, and then move on. But don't try to discard yeah. it because it's just going to keep nagging at you while you try to meditate. Mm -hmm. Address it really quick, get it gone, and then just move on from there. The very first meditation that I spoke to you about is what that I is. I have somebody say. The first meditation one I spoke to I have to you somebody about say that, that if. Is. Sorry, sis. Yeah. That if, you, if something, that's okay, if something pops into your head, such as doing the dishes, the first person I heard say meditate, to explain meditation, they said to imagine that thought going down a river, like, okay, I have to do the dishes and just watch it float away. So if they, that doesn't work, try that. It never ever worked for me. They try to float it down the river, but I'd now say, okay, I'll do the dishes after this meditation. And it doesn't go away, guys, I promise. It does. And you are going to... The thing is, what you've got to remember as well, guys, right? Obviously, you know when your everyday life matters and stuff and that, that you've got to get done comes through, okay, yeah? But what you've got to remember with meditation, when you start doing it to a form where you're opening, you're going to start getting messages and getting feelings and that. And you don't want to be ignoring them because that is what it's supposed to be doing. So that's why the first meditation I spoke to you about is really good because it says, notice the situation but don't read into it so you're kind of taking note of it you're dialoguing it in mm. your head you know that it's there but then you're like okay i'm moving on to do this i will sort that mm. after like you can say that out loud you can say that in your head they're going to hear you it's you're going to be your energy's helping you do it so mm. that's what you've got to remember because as you're opening your meditation, your meditation opens all your senses. So you're going to start having meditation sessions mm -hmm. where you start feeling things and smelling things or things start popping in your head and you're like, oh my God, my head's getting busy. That's communication. That's your consciousness. Do you know what I mean? Well, that's what we were going to talk about with smells yeah. as well. I was going yeah. to tell you that a lot of the smells can... Remember what we tried to tell you before? That, well, I don't know what we're trying to do, which one once we're going back to basics, but smells have got a lot to do with where you can take your mind, such as if you smell something that reminds you of your childhood or something, that smell can help you in your meditations. Say it's cinnamon that remembers you Christmas. So if you want to meditate and you want to go to a place of... maybe reminding you of a Christmas day or something, then burn that smell at your cinnamon that, that helps you. So the ones that they recommend you to, to, to burn or have around in your, when you're trying to meditate is better things. So bergamot, um, fengong, feng Greek as well, goldenrod, honeysuckle. Now remember, honeysuckle is quite a dreamy type of smell as it is so honeysuckle will be a really good one for you to tune in on way and also jasmine jasmine's got a really nice flowery smell so if you burnt even the two of them together or find an incense that smells of them then it really will help you sandalwood as well so depending on what type of meditation you want kind of test out what ones work for me a lot of the time the one that was working for me was the one that was the confidence by lisa parker i do believe it was but i've none of that left anyway so i need to find some new ones so if i find a new one that helps me meditate i'll definitely let you know about it is there any smells help you guys normally the, the ones that you were uh, that you've said i do like to burn a little bit of dragon's blood as well sometimes i think that really does help and it's the spiritual side of that really? meditation it's really good um <laughs> certain types of music um you can put oils out as well oh, if you've music, got a really yeah. nice scented oil that you like you know you might like to have your mm. window open you might like a bit of a breeze it's whatever makes you feel comfortable and the most important thing to remember when you're doing your meditation and stuff okay 
it's not like obviously in that video i said to you sit with your legs crossed you sit how you feel comfortable you can sit you oh, can yes, lay yeah. you can do what you want you can lay on the bed you can lay on the floor you can sit on the floor you can sit on a sofa it doesn't matter what you do but well do i was telling the guys the only meditation that worked for me was sherry's last week and it was sitting here doing this <laughs> so there yeah just sit there you just sit there the, the, mo <laughs> the most this. important thing is clearing your mind it's clearing your mind and being in a place that's quiet you do not want to be in a place where you've got people mm. running around you and it's too noisy because you're not going to be focusing then are you because you're going to be wondering what's going mm. on right next to you it's okay to be in a room shut your door if you hear a bit of noise out there that's fine but don't have them directly in there be in a secret space that is calming and nice for you okay because it's really important to be in a place when you're meditating where you can completely shut down okay you don't want to be somewhere busy and noisy like that yeah when you're just you learning know. obviously as you get go through it and you become advanced and you're good and you can meditate like i do noise sound people around me does not bother me i can meditate with an, a massive noise yeah. crowd but when you're just learning yeah it can be quite off mm -hmm. you know what i mean like See, having a <laughs> <laughs> it's <what> I'm <laughs> kids in the background barking for dogs me. <laughs> For me, yeah. I normally don't put incense on. Some people, it helps a lot, like Drew is saying. For me, I normally don't, only so that as I'm meditating, I can smell what comes to me at the moment that a memory yeah. needs to come to me. So that way, I'll smell yeah. that and not everything else. My, that's, my sense of smell is not that good. So if I light anything up, I might miss what is being brought to me. But other people, like Drew says, that's a way for them to meditate. So you have to find mm -hmm. your way of which one. Try them both and see which one works best for you. Yeah. That's the only way you're going to know is just to is. trial and error, trial and error. It is about learning and start learning and exploring. Mm -hmm. like, so and what works for you? Many ways to do it. Yeah. So. It doesn't always work for somebody what works for somebody else. That's why these yeah. classes are also good because yeah. there we've just said smell works for me, but Mystical likes to not do that so she can smell what she's kind of in her meditation with. So I'll maybe try that I like system both. mystical. I like both. If I'm doing if I'm doing meditation to calm, to relax, um, just to like ease me, I'll put incense and stuff on. If I'm yeah. doing my spiritual or visualization meditations where I'm communicating with other energy and I'm needing to feel, see, smell everything I need, then I won't put an incense stick on because I need to be able to smell and feel and everything else I'm getting. But mm -hmm. on like the meditations just for healing yourself or helping you to get through stress or whatever, it's fine to put your incense on. But mm -hmm. some of you... What you've got to remember is your senses are very powerful things and the more that you open the more that they you know they can become advanced some people mm -hmm. do meditate and talk to other spirit and can smell everything coming in with incense sticks still on that all they'll normally do is just move the incense further away so it's not directly in their in their ore so that the smells can still come but everybody's different you, you know some of you might find that you can't use incense sticks and that you just like to have the candle or you might like an oil mm -hmm. you know it's whatever yeah. suits you mm -hmm. you know I mean? we're not sitting here doing this meditation <laughs> you're doing that yourself so you need to establish what you're comfortable with and what you like and you may not even like doing it in your house you might like going sitting in nature and oh, sitting under a tree doing it. It's up to and you. by the ocean or by the trees or you trees, know oceans rivers. anything you yeah. know you don't have to be mm -hmm. at home to meditate you can be mm -hmm. anywhere you want that you feel mm -hmm. calm and relaxed mm -hmm. and just go there and i like my favorite is place i do meditate here but my most favorite is places to meditate is in nature and next to my street that i've got it's so stunning it's when you're so sitting there easy in the to summer, and it's so calming and you've got all those yeah. smells and you just it just takes you into that yeah. especially it's if beautiful. you're able to take your shoes off and be on the ground and not cement 
then it yeah. even mm -hmm. enhances your meditation that much. Oh, it more. does. Mm -hmm. Because wherever I go, mm -hmm. you've got like all your trees and stuff, and then you've got yeah. a little field bit. And there's a little string and you can just sit on the little embankment and my feet can just sit on the top of the water. And that's what I will normally do because water is in a massive uh, mm. and, and an absolutely amazing yeah. element to use for Only communication. Just what... Sit near water and put your feet in the water when it's warm and you'll you'll feel that Phoenix energy. Phoenix Lake, you know? Nag Champa. What else, yeah. Phoenix, was it? Nag Anything. Champa. You don't Champa. have to stick to the, the incense. That Nag Champa, Blue Box, and Dragon Blood, for instance, says collection. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Works. Like, that's you can use whatever whatever scent you want. It's whatever scent matches to you. Even, I just find I wood. like lavender, heather, and jasmine. Wood. Yeah, wood would yes. be a really good one. Wood, it's I mean, yeah, you can go yeah. get outside and get a branch of a certain type, of, whether it's pine or oak or red cedar those all have incense in them too and you can smell them also even just, even even just something as much as sitting in front of your um your your, your fire the yeah. different smells of the fire and the wood burning and that even that could be quite relaxing if you're not right up on top of it yeah I mean? it's, it's, that it's not long hair. Hair. <laughs> i got that dang hair it's been bothering me for an hour and 22 minutes did you catch it? And I just <laughs> yanked it. I've got. Out. She couldn't tuck it in her hood. I've got a massive. <laughs> I've got a drawer. That is full of so what do you want to put? Candles. Oh, it's crazy. This is only the ones I use here. It's in a little cauldron. That is the ones I use there. But I've got loads in a box upstairs that I don't like the smells of them. And they're big, huge ones and things. So I don't like the big, big ones that my book fell. So, well, I took some notes down when you were doing that. Let me see some of my notes as well. Oh, yes, yeah, so the vibration one's a good one. So using, like, different vibrations in your meditation, like your chanting and things, like Uncle Danny taught us when we're trying to empower ourselves to do spell work or anything, to do say yeah say yeah say yeah mantra yeah, yeah. Mantra. so that's gonna be a mantra yeah that's our our family mantra i call it so that's an empowerment i use that a lot when i'm doing spell work candle magic anything that i do so i'll need to try and use that in a meditation i never thought about trying to use when you go says yeah, I was going to say, like, when if you're meditating and your body is out of sorts and you do the um and you feel it vibrating in your body and you do that, that's actually, YouTube don't like you to use the word H-E-A-L-I-N-G. That's what it does. It does that for certain parts of your body and gets them back in balance and puts things back in order right. where it, it needs does. to be. And that helps, yeah. I mean, a lot when you're doing that. And that one's really like yeah, the, noise one, the noise, the noise, not the noise meditation, the mantra meditation is really good for your chakras because your mm -hmm. chakra points have all got different vibrational levels that you use for your voice that yeah. you can do when you're cleansing okay mm -hmm. you put your crystals on you don't even have to use crystals you, if you've got enough energy in you you can do it without your crystals okay but oh, yeah. if, you, if you like using your crystals you can put them on and you just use certain voice frequencies okay and it is the mantra meditation that does that it clean it helps to clean the chakras because it's using the noise and the vibration like sister mystical said you know what i mean so really good for yeah. the uh cleansings of shackles and stuff definitely i was all. also told as well when i was trying to meditate the normal way before i realized daydreaming was meditating to get a focus on the wall and try and meditate even with your eyes open because a lot of people yeah. can but if you've got yeah. a point on the wall that you focus at you can't go into a, a meditation actually with your eyes open. And a lot of people can do that. So even try that if you're finding it a little bit hard. Put like a pentagram on the wall or something or even a spot. Yeah. It's going to keep your attention. Yeah. And in one of those in, in one of those um 
those meditation aspects that I spoke to you guys about, I did say about putting certain objects out that will cap capture your imagination and your attention and keep you focused. Because like I said to you, you don't have to be awake and you don't have to be asleep. Like you can be both. You know what I mean? You can either be like in between or you can be awake, eyes mm -hmm. open, eyes closed. It's however you, you most relate to it. And it's all called, you know, practice makes perfect. You have to learn. It's not just going to happen. You have to learn yourself to do Well, that. Brother Lou, you need to come and explain it to us better. There you go. And the I'll get Brother Lou up one day. I'll convince him. Yeah, it'd be good to have Brother Lou come up because he's very acknowledgeable. Man. He's very interesting guys but i'll leave him to tell his story because what he will come up one day i know he will see a seer mm. shamanism and stuff yes nature any yes. sort of element and of it really does empower you yeah yeah the paranormal hub that does help guys uh, bales bales does the same thing bales does the same thing in your body that i was explaining the other one what it does to you that's the reason way back yeah. a lot of certain churches had the bells and they would ring those bells while they were in church and that's what it would do yeah From and that's why i want to bring some of my like one thing we're doing all these shows on a friday okay we're doing all of these shows on a friday and what I was thinking of doing is doing like the, doing like my shows on my channel that I normally do, my witchy videos, but actually doing more detailed videos on what we talk about on Witchy 101 so you can get a bit more understanding. So where I've spoke to you yes. about the basic things to do with each topic, I can do these videos where I go into a little bit more detail, maybe tell you how to do your meditation, how you can do certain exercises to do it. Mm -hmm. because i've got books on all of that and what i've done as well so i can do all of that um see that would be so interesting now since they're sharing what we could do then is especially tonight because we have done meditation if you can grab the link to your meditation uh, and play like We'll go do it because the one it did work for me and see if you can connect through it and let us know if it's worked for you because there's a few over there isn't there there is so i think there's like 15 or 16 of them and there are going to be some more out they are on my playlist mm -hmm. on my youtube if you go and hit my playlist it's it, it's under um show meditation shows yeah because you've got like my meditation nice. music it's not in meditation music it's in meditation shows it's something like that on my channel right. and there's about 15 or 16 videos and they're all my videos that i've made because at the minute i'm learning you the basics and all of the stuff that you're doing but i am going to start bringing in my instruments into my meditation my drums my bells i am i've um my they must be private sis they're not there yeah, the Tibetan singing bowls like Drew has, like I've got up there, those are really good use also. Right. Yeah, yes. I've got my, I'll um, probably um, make it so that they're not, um, I don't know why it's private, that's weird. I'll unprivate, don't worry. Um, yeah, there's only two playlists up, sis. No, they're all private. My normal music and vlogs. That's my normal music and vlogs, there's only two. All right, well, I'll have a look at it and see if I can work out what's going on in that. But they are on there. I will, um, what I'll do is I'll get the playlist link after this and put it under this video so you can go mm -hmm. and hear it and you can go over and have a look. But, um, yeah. what I want you, what we wanted you to do is obviously we've got homework. We hope that your own work that you've done the other day was going well. And if any of you, have completed it just send it over to the chat you know on facebook or over to our emails so that we can just go through it and have a look so we would like to be able to see what you guys write and 
I'm a bit Remember more the clan group is on Facebook, guys. I'll share the link to the clan group again and let and we can all it's a Facebook group. So if any of are not yeah. on Facebook, let us know. Because we are going to try and get the Facebook group so that it's where we can communicate with you. And you can tell us about your homework over there on the messenger side. So let me grab it for you. Yeah. So what I wanted, like, today's homework to be is obviously watch the videos on, on my channel to get a bit of an understanding about the breathing techniques and the things that you have to do, okay? And what I want you to do is just start to meditate, even if it's only for five or ten minutes. For you guys that have been coming in and do it, you can go longer, okay? But do a little bit of meditation. Um, get yourself balanced. Get yourself settled. And then what I, I want you to start looking into is um, I want you to start focusing on what you feel, see, or hear coming into you when, when you're doing it, okay? So... I want you to be doing the meditation. It doesn't matter if you put your, you know, your incense sticks, your candles, your crystals, all of those protection bits down. Do your prayer before you start. Make sure that everything's protected. And I just want you to go into your secret, quiet place, whether that's nature or in the house. Just go and sit down for 10, 15 minutes and just focus on yourself and on re removing all of the energy out of you that you don't want okay and all of the worry and i want you to start to to just sit there and enjoy the meditation listen to the music let the music take you in okay and start to focus on what you're you're maybe hearing or you're seeing because you'll notice as you go and do it more you'll start getting little flashes of light or you'll start getting things that come within the consciousness. This is normally the telltale sign that something's starting to happen within. Okay, when you start getting these little weird... Little it's flashes it's of you know, so mm -hmm. visualise it. Focus on the smells, the feelings, you know, any messages, anything you get and anything you do see through this meditation and you're going to have to keep doing this quite frequently to get an effect... Yeah. okay just learn don't give up clear it and visualize what you feel see and whatever around you and write it all down and we want you to come back and tell us how it went because obviously when you first start out if you've not been doing meditation before it's going to take you probably a few days before you even get comfortable and you're, you're chilled okay now, I'm not saying that in a, a week's time you're going to start having full-blown fletch mm -hmm. images, you're going to have full-blown conversations with things, but start to just work your mind to focus on the consciousness within you, okay? And just start to notice any little changes you're getting within the mind and write that down. Mm -hmm. And each night, just read what you've wrote because mm -hmm. that's going to keep that consciousness open, which is going to open you even more. Um, even doing little topics such as... Um, writing little things down on notelets and putting them under your pillar and laying on them. Things you want to see in your meditation. Write it down, put your intentions in and put it under your pillar and lay on it and see see what happens. And then on your next meditation session, see if anything relevant to that comes out. And just like send us the information over and let us yeah. know what, what's going on. And tell us what you used, if you used any smells, if you used any vibrational techniques and things. We want to know, guys, honestly, we want to know what works for other people as well as what works for us. And in that way, it helps us teach other people things. Yeah. And remember, don't giving... give up if it doesn't work. It didn't yeah. work for me for years. And, and it isn't going to, you... it's not going to do nothing major. Not straight away. Go on, Mr. Cole. Oh, just to say, we all give you our own experiences. That way, you don't feel like you just have to go one direction. You have different things to try. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to stick to one thing, guys. Like, like I, I'm giving you the basics to just like yeah. try to push in your mind to start being able to see your consciousness. How you illustrate that, what you put out, how you act, that's up to you. Okay? That is completely up to you. 
Verbal Sister Phoenix is saying, those of you that will meditate for the first time, please don't feel discouraged. If you don't get it the first couple of times, keep at it. No. Definitely Just keep at it, guys. Because I daydream. I didn't even realise that daydreaming was meditating until I started to get to know Uncle Danny, Sherry and everybody. And then I started to realise, wait a minute, the things they see in meditation, I see in my daydreams. So if that is the only way that you can meditate to start off with, try it when you're sitting there just in a little daydream because it works for me. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Sister Phoenix. Like, I'm not saying that you doing what I'm telling you to do for your homework is going to completely open you. You're going to start seeing everything. I'm telling you to just start to take a little bit of a notice of your body and start to just take a little twitch into your consciousness because that's where it starts. Okay, being aware of that. That is what you, that's what I want you to do. Be aware of your consciousness, write it down yeah. and tell us what you get. It don't matter how you do it. Don't matter if you put vibrational music on it. Don't matter if you start making your mantras and you're singing it out, whatever you're Ask doing. Ask your dates to way. help you. Yeah, Ask that's why I said write things it down or yeah. say it out loud. Write it. You can write it on paper and say it out loud, then put it under your pillow. You're giving that intention, and hopefully they'll do that for your meditation. If you state mm. that, I would like you to talk to me through my meditation or show me something through my meditation. Yeah. They will help you. Remember what I've always told you guys, I'm a great believer in communicating every day with your guides. So if you sit down in the morning as your morning routine with them and say to them, can you please help me to relax and meditation so that I can open up more? Then then they do, do listen and they will try and help you relax. But it's important I, to have quiet. And I, I agree on it. It can take years. But it's worth an effort. I'm not saying to do this because I'm telling you I'm going to open you up. That's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you to do this to help you and so you can feel connected. Five years. Five years it took me to meditate properly. And the only one I did it with, as I keep saying, is the one Sister Sherry put out last week. I could see myself, I could see the back of me as a kind of, witchy goddess you're looking i had my cloak up it was yeah. a green cloak and i was walking through like, the scottish highlands i knew where i was and i could see heather and things on the ground and it's the first time i've ever managed to do that so it does come stick with it probably i am no, and that's what I'm saying, but obviously we're not just reaching out to people that know meditation. We're reaching out to beginners. We're reaching out to people that are new and don't understand this. That, that's what these classes are yeah. about. You know, what I say, look at Phoenix is saying, Phoenix, I agree. Sister Sherry, remember, sweetheart, you and Sister Drew helped me when I started and that time I didn't know the other sisters. See, it shows you everybody grows, does, guys. Yeah. You can see where Phoenix is today. It takes time. Yep, it does. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying that this is gonna come. this it is gonna come. open you. This is, it's gonna help you to just connect in different ways. It's gonna help you to help yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like it could be years down the line that you'll start seeing energy for oh, no, experiencing things, but at least you'll you're preparing your body to maybe do that one day. You know what I mean? And the more you practice, the better it gets. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. We have to come from perspective. And remember, where guys, brand new at the same time. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we're, we're teaching these things in the background. It's also helping you connect. So right now, along with the meditation, you should be getting up every day and figuring out why you're on this path. Try to live by certain rules of being kind, being motivation for other people. Whatever the three things is that you want to live your day by as a spiritual being. So along with doing that, along with doing your meditations, this is what's going to open you up to your spirituality, to the making the connections to your deities, to yeah. your ancestors, to whoever it may be. 
So it's a full, that's full point. process. That's why we've done it for stage one. You know. Yeah, and that's why what I'm trying to explain. Like I know that a lot of you are very advanced and do this. This is not aimed at you guys. You yeah, do it you feel comfortable. But people that yeah. are brand new and don't know meditation, don't know how to be spiritual. You have to go right from the basics, and we did we did explain that right at the beginning of the shows. That is going right back, as if like you don't know anything about what we're doing, and you need to be completely educated. You know what I mean? So, and it's you might all a process. We try, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you like, you think about it. Five, six, seven years ago, you may not have been as open as what you are now. So even going back and looking back to the basics, you'll probably be able to realise where some of that comes from. And you'll probably be able to tell other people and help other people as well. There's yeah. benefits in everything that there you do. Phoenix is saying again, Phoenix is saying, and if anyone needs help, you can always reach us. We will always be there to help any of you that need help and answer any questions to the rest of your abilities. So if there is anybody out there has got any questions, that is why the clan group on Facebook is there. And if you don't get us there, just leave a saying. comment under the video, guys. Under this saying, live stream, leave a comment, a question, and we'll answer it. I was saying some people use the intuitive side of their brain naturally, but most use... The analytical, the analytical left brain side there's a, a spectrum and intelligence doesn't necessarily factor in just different yeah, of course. Yeah. and that's what i mean that's why we're <laughs> talking people to use that side of that because a lot of people don't use that side of the brain because of everyday world matters and things we face and whatever people have forgot how to use that side so doing this sort of stuff will help people to maybe jog that a bit and you know Hub is asking, well, when right. you're meditating, are you in danger of leaving yourself open to spiritual attack? Well, I, I've not experienced that. I call my guides in for everything. You've got to remember, every day I'll call my guides in to my side every day to help me along my journey. So typically when I'm meditating, I'm, I've got the belief that they've got my back. So... Me personally, I don't think so, but I don't know what the other ladies think about that. There's, there's danger in anything to do with spirituality, whether you're meditating or whatever, anything can come through. When you open to a point where you're open, energies can come through your meditation. The important thing to remember is how you keep yourself safe when you're doing it. Mm. There is nothing in the paranormal field or the spiritual field where you're safe okay it's how you know how to protect yourself yes. and to keep those things at bay and away that is what it is there is no safe in paranormal and spirituality there isn't it's no naive to think you are right. well, i'm sure sister <laughs> mystical would probably be able to what say is a little bit that as well yeah well if you are staying protected before you're meditating then you're fine if you're meditating and you don't even realize you're meditating then technically you're okay because you're not saying, well, my spirits come in and help me and you're opening up that door. Therefore, you're just calming your mind. You're not technically calling upon any spirits. So therefore, yeah. you don't have that door open for other spirits to come in. If you're going to meditate and you are going to call upon them, then you do need always to protect yourself. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm. I just trust my guides. I've got my back, guys. That's the yeah. only thing I can advise you of, is to trust your guides and know that they're there. And always just put that thought in your mind before you go into meditation. Can I please have my guides with me just as a backup? And they'll be there as soon as you ask them to come. Yeah, and no, I can't tell you that. I'm somebody that does believe that when you meditate, you've got energy around you no matter what. Yes. Yeah, I mean, you have. It's how you protect yourself. It's how you keep it at bay and keep it away from you. Okay? Yeah. Asking out to certain yeah. energies is a big factor, I think. Yeah. you To completely open the doorway, yes. But when you're meditating, you've always got that doorway slightly open. You can't meditate and not be in the spiritual realm. There is a, you, you are in a form of the spiritual realm. There's always that chance 
that an energy can jump you. Not all energies mm. have to be our permission. That's what I'm so putting mm. protection and things around you. Yes. Is it known through meditation to get took over by spirits and that? Not really. No. But always be safe. Never just, that. just in case. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean? That's all I can say. Yeah, it does. Uh, it depends on your mindset or beliefs. I would agree with that. Yeah, none of us are wrong what we're saying on this panel. We're all right. We've all got different beliefs. Yeah, we're not the same. We've all got I different beliefs. Like we've always said, hello, Kirsty, sweetheart. Does it work again? Different. Thank you for sneaking in. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all different. We've all learned differently and we've all seen things differently. So we're, all, we're, we're not always going to have the same opinion on things. But it doesn't mean that we're telling each other that we're wrong because we're not. That's just, why we're, we're here. It's yeah. just, and that's it's why you guys have got a part in this. Yeah, it's just yeah. better to have more than one piece of advice just in case because all of your minds are different as well. Yes, you know I mean? so, that's why you've got a part in this, guys, is because everybody's yeah. different and we're all learning together. We're just pushing out little bits of information that we know. Yeah. So hey, it's interesting to know your points of view as well. Yeah, don't Did let you enjoy the video? Tell you you're though? doing something wrong. Yes, I enjoyed that. way of doing it. It wasn't, it wasn't complicated. You didn't like read it, listen to it, and think, oh my God, what's she talking about? Like, it was no, okay. I thought there was great facts there. You explained okay. it really well. Yeah. Remember, go back the video, guys, and take notes I from was, it and think, what kind am I? You know? I was meant to do a meditation tonight, guys, but that didn't happen because we got really into the talking and stuff okay yeah. but look out for me over the weekend because there is going to be a meditation stream on sunday mm -hmm. um i know that i'm live tomorrow night with the spirits and stuff so i don't know if i might bring a little bit of meditation into that before i do like my little dance parade and whatever we could maybe mm -hmm. bring a bit in you hey, know sherry you be before you close it can you do a uh can you do a quick uh, prayer for Danny since he has his pneumonia issue. Oh, yeah, yes. Uncle Danny's prayer. If it's okay with everybody Pops. out there in the chat. <laughs> yes. Pops, is not, Pops isn't well. And um, I somebody messaged me earlier asking if I could do some spell prayer. Yeah, I'll get a message for Luna as well. Yeah. Yeah, um, Luna. I've got a candle burning the that's been going the whole of the show. But. We're going to do a little prayer. So what I the want you guys to do... Again, can I just quickly say before you say that, for the ones that was in Sister Sherry's live the other night, we did a full kind of... It's not a ritual as such. Well, it was a ritual, but we did some healing. So please check that out as well. It's on Sister Sherry's channel because that'll give us an idea of the type of things that we do do just before Sister Sherry goes on. Yes. Definitely go over and have a look at them. There is a witch. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it the witchy 101 shows are not showing on there either. No, sis. There's only two playlists. I'm going to so. have to un yeah. unprivate it all. Oh, I don't know why it's yeah. private. But if I could ask all of my angels in the room, if you could just put your hands together and if we could just pray for pups, because, again, he's not feeling very well and we have had requests to do this. So if you could all just sit there and put that loving energy and that healing energy out to Pops, that would be very much appreciated, sweethearts. So and the people that do know, aim at them, okay? Let's do yeah, this, guys. Yeah, right think, of, think of Pops, have his image clear in your head and just focus that energy of healing and positive vibes to him, okay? So we're going to start now then. Our Father, our Lord Jesus, and our Mother's Mother Earth, Mother Nature. Our powers and energies of nature and of the elements, I call forth to you and ask you to come and assist in the healing and protection of Danny, which is pups or uncle. Keep him in your healing and loving arms and help him to be removed from this pain and this suffering that he endures at this moment. Help him to grow stronger and to become not unwell, but well within your presence. I call upon you, our elements of four colours and four directions and ask that your energy and power of the grove will be upon pups. 
that he will be protected, he will be healed, and he will be at strength once again. I give my love, gratitude, and respect to you, for you are the one and above all. Be with him at this time as he feels unwell, and put our love and our prayers and our wishes around him. Help him to grow in strength. Help him to grow in health so that he is in pain no more. Father, you are the greatest and most powerful energy of this world and the universe. And with you, anything is possible. So I ask for this wish upon your child and your son, Danny's head, and help him to be strong and help him to be well. Bring him back to his community where he is needed and where he is loved. Bring him back to his family where he is loved and he is needed. Keep your powerful and strong and healing hands around him and protect him and keep him away from harm and all that is not needed. All energy that may be bad or evil, remove, repel. It is not welcomed. Mothers, I give you the gratitude of love and understanding and I ask that you be with pups Danny uncle and help to heal him keep him strong and surround him in your holy circle give him that energy to boost and to empower bring the fire within his soul and bring him back to good health and good way I pray for him and I pray that he rests and that he recovers and that he will be strong again I pray, I pray in the almighty name of our Lord, and I pray in the almighty names of Mother Earth, Mother Nature, and the elements. I pray for those in this world that are suffering or in pain also, and help that, that give them the help of love and healing and a guidance forward in life. You are the almighty power and the one above all, and I ask that you embrace thee, and I thank you for the energy the love and your guidance. Pups, I send you blessings, healings and love from me and from the chat and from your pup clang. May you grow and stand in strength and be healed. May our prayers, spells and energies correct your illness and help you be strong again. See us here. So more to be. Amen. Send it here on to Uncle Danny. Love and light as well. Love you, Thank pups. You. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. Thank you, my angels. Thank you for that. It's very, it, it, you know, the more that do it, the, the more powerful it is. And, you know, numbers really does make a difference. Thank you, Hob. So, yeah, Uncle Danny is the pillar of our community, guys. We have got all the respect in the world from for him for the people that do not know him. He is our kind of matriarch, if you like. He's who has taught a lot of us. He's the one that keeps teaching us things as well. It's never ending the teachers he teaches us. So please just keep him in your prayers if you do do bedtime prayers as well and push yes. out all that healing energy to him, please. Yeah, pray for him tonight, guys. Keep him in your prayers. Bless, bless him. Well, I know that we're going to. So we're really, yeah. really happy that you did come to the show tonight, guys. And we hope that you wasn't educated about the meditation. It helps you to understand meditation a little bit more. Maybe you will come over to my channel now and join some of my shows with the meditation and maybe go along with that. There are many different aspects of meditation on my channel. There is nature things for spiritual awakening or uh, all sorts of things so you, you can find your number on there guys so thank you for yeah. coming in we do love you lots and we give you lots of love light and blessings if i just go over to the sisters so they can say their bit to you both yeah definitely do you want to go first mystical i'm just gonna say thank you everybody for coming in and subscribe to all the channels hit the like uh hit the notification bell we all have things on our channel. Uh, Sherry mostly has the meditation stuff on on her channel. And so thank you, everybody, for coming in and communicating with us in the chat. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. 
So thank you everybody for joining us on this show. I'm not sure what show four is next week, but we will be pushing that out during the week and let you know what it is. So I just keep advising these guys to keep trying to be on your spiritual journey. Keep saying your thank yous every day for being here. Keep being appreciative and this journey will work for you. Do the meditations, find out what works for you and just enjoy your Christmas if we don't see you before then, okay? Yep. A very, very happy Christmas and a happy winter solace to you all. May you have a very special time with your family. Thank you for coming to Witchy 101. We love you all very, very much. Stay safe over the see, over the holidays and we will see you all very soon for next Friday for the yeah, show. Guys, we will come up with what we're going to be talking about. We've got to sort that out. Mm. So love and light, guys, and bless you. Bye, guys. So again, sis. Blessings. Bye. I says, I can't even remember what the schedule for number and four. Also, Oops. Wait, guys. Well, I'll, I'll have a look on the um, on on the notebook because I know that we I wrote everything down. Yeah, everything. we've got them all so, Bye, down. guys. Lots of love and light. Rinses upstairs. Blessings, everybody. Merry parties. Mm -hmm.